hi guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell from the title i'm kind of gonna go along with a theme today and the theme is five perfumes that I plan on wearing in the spring. Um, as I said in my last video, I kind of switch up my perfumes quite a lot. So even if I don't strictly stick to these perfumes, these are some of the perfumes of which I will have in my rotation for spring and summer. This is in no particular order, um, just because, as I said, I like to switch it up a lot. Okay, so let's get into the video. The first one on my list is my Bond number no. 9 Astor's Palace. And just before we even get into the scent or anything, guys, the bottle. The bottle is so lovely. Yeah, I actually got given this as a gift um, and I'd never smelt it before. I think it's one of the first Bond number no. 9s I got into my collection. But guys, when I tell you, so let me read the notes for you and then I'll explain how I feel about the perfume. In Ast Ooh. With Asta's Place, the top notes are Violet Leaf and Mandarin Orange. The middle notes are Freesia, Red Poppy and Oris Root. And the base notes are Musk, Teakwood and Amber. So Asta's Place is such a beautiful... Like this just gives me springtime it gives me flowers it just smells like blooming flowers just blooming flowers i smell springtime this is such a beautiful springtime perfume bond number nine um it is quite an expensive brand honestly with this this is one of the only bond number nines like i have about three in my collection this is out of the three one of my favorite because it actually lasts a really long time and it has amazing ciliage like it leaves a trail like when i spray it next perfume on my list zajoff herba pura open up you open so before I even get into the scent, guys, look at the bottle. Like, the bottle is literally one of the reasons why I got this. Like, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's like a velvet kind of um, fabric on the bottle. But it's such a beautiful bottle. And the colour, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> As I did before, I'm going to tell you the notes that are in this, and then I'm going to tell you what I think of this. The top notes... We have Sicilian orange, we have bermagot, and we have Sicilian lemon. In the middle notes we have fruits, and in the base notes we have white musk, vanilla and amber. Now guys, Herba Pura is just a beautiful, beautiful, like I know I explain all my senses beautiful, but Herba Pura, it's a very citrusy, very fruit, very... There's a bit of musk in there, you can smell the sweetness from the vanilla, you can smell the, the depth with the amber, like... Herba Pura is actually a really lovely scent. I sprayed this one day and I went to meet a friend and I asked him what he thought of the scent and to him, he couldn't really tell what it was but he said it's kind of like a clean, fruity, sweet scent. Herba Pura, it is unisex but it's just a very sweet clean fruity you've got the lemon you've got the orange a very beautiful scent for spring and summer um as well especially if it gets really hot in the summer where you're from you do want something that has you know a few citrus notes in there and um, because citrus does really go with summer and guys let me say this is some powerful stuff like the juice is powerful that's one thing i love about the house of zerjoff like a lot of their scents when you spray it it's in the air the projection is amazing the longevity is amazing the trail that it leaves is amazing like ever pure does that it does just that it has amazing projection amazing longevity and the trail it leaves is beautiful okay the next one in my list Okay, we have another Montau for today. This is Montau Intense Tear. Oh, 
now one thing i want to mention about montau um i don't like i don't like the bottles that they come in and um obviously if you've never heard of montau and you are someone that kind of looks at bottles of perfume like the bottles the physical pre um, presentation of a bottle it might kind of throw you off you know you might kind of think what is this tin kind of thing but guys Montau and Mansera, I have to say, are two of my favourite houses, mainly because the juice that they give for the price that they have is, is unbeatable. It's amazing. It's amazing deals. So, Intense Tier, as the name suggests, it does have a lot of Tier flower in it. If you don't know what Tier flower is, Tier flower is basically that tropical kind of smelling flower that you smell in maybe a lot of um, sun tanning products. You smell it in some sun tan lotions. Um, it's just that beachy floral scent that you get in a lot of per, um, sun tan, like sun based products. The notes are Tier flower, coconut, vanilla, ylang ylang, jasmine and rose. Okay, so as the notes suggest, this is a very floral smelling scent, but with the coconut, you just smell like you're in the tropics. You smell like you're on a beach. Before I had actually smelt this, I did search reviews and a lot of people compared it to suntan lotion. I didn't get what they meant because I wasn't really someone that use suntan lotion like that but um when i got it i i understood what they meant okay so it does have a suntan lotion kind of vibe if you've never smelled or you've never tried or used suntan lotion it smells like a very buttery um a very roasted coconutty very tropical kind of scent okay i do want to add that um Intensity air may be or feel or smell a little bit um, artificial to some people but wearing this in a hot climate with the breeze blowing in the air this will smell honestly so amazing like I'm waiting to wear this on holiday because it's gonna smell amazing the longevity on this is amazing and um, the last time i sprayed it i've actually sprayed it today but the last time before today i sprayed it i sprayed it on my um, dressing gown and the next day i could smell it on my i sm i smelled it on my dressing gown for like two days after okay the next fragrance that i'm gonna show you guys <sighs> say hello to mrs wisp So if you didn't watch my last video, this is Jasmine Wisp. Um, I mentioned this in my last video. Guys, like what I said still stands. This is one of the most juiciest, fruitiest, sexiest scents I've ever smelled in my life. Um, it is very fruity, it is very um, feminine and it is a lovely scent for the spring and summer so the notes in jasmine wisp we have mandarin orange we have lemon we have grapefruit we have passion fruit white flower pear and coconut and peach and we have vanilla amber and tonka bean as i said in my last video and um, if you haven't watched it i'm gonna link it in the description box jasmine wisp is one of the most fruity sexy beautiful scents i've ever smelled guys it's it's just it's just a beautiful scent like not only does it have the fruit the fruit notes that are mentioned but with the tonka bean the amber and the vanilla it just gives it this different kind of depth that i think that's what stops it from being quite juvenile like i know a lot of fruity scents um i'm just gonna name an example escada if you've never smelled escada something like escada a lot of people may veer away from because escada does tend to have a bit of a juvenile kind of scent kind of like a scent for young girls okay but i feel like jasmine wisp it does the sweetness it does the fruitiness but it still remains very very sexy so next on the list this is Sintra by Memo guys the bottle is so beautiful I have to like aim it down just so you guys can see like all the holographic gold on the bottle the blue it's like a mosaic tile guys the bottle is so beautiful but okay, Sintra, Sintra, Sintra. Before I tell you guys the notes, I just want to say with Sintra, 
when I first got this I wasn't a fan okay I wasn't a fan of Sintra Um, I heard I saw a lot of reviews on Sintra of people comparing it to Love Don't Be Shy and as I mentioned before if you haven't seen my last video I did mention Love Don't Be Shy as one of my all-time favorites that's kind of what drew me to get in Sintra okay so when I first smelt Sintra I finally got it guys I was not happy i know people described it with having a lot of green notes on the top but i didn't think it would smell like this or like that when i first smelled it and i was so upset guys i was so tempted to sell it but i don't know what happened right like literally i left it for a bit and then i smelled it again and i am in love like i love Sintra now okay so in Sintra we have neruli pettigrain bermagot red fruits orange blossom jasmine milk resin rose and cinnamon and we have marshmallow vanilla caramel musk and cedar Sintro is literally now one of my babies like it's literally one of my babies it does have literally like everyone has described it does have a lot of green when you first spray it like a lot of green like if you first sprayed this um and you are someone that you're looking for something like love don't be shy don't be shocked that there's a lot of green and when i say green um if you're not familiar with the term green it smells like freshly cut grass that's the best way i can describe a lot of green so there is a lot of green but when it settles down guys it is literally such a beautiful scent like it has the dna of love with the orange blossom the sweet note of the marshmallow but i think i think the green just gives it a different kind of um personality you know when you have um so many fragrances that's about the same it kind of gets boring so Sintra is it is something of its own guys and i will definitely be wearing this in spring and summer if you are curious about getting Sintra, i'd say just get it if you are looking for something that is like love but it isn't love okay i want to stress it isn't love but it's beautiful it is beautiful so that is Sintra. that is my video today guys um I hope you enjoyed it uh, like I said I will be making more videos about perfume and things like that so um, I shall see you in the next one bye